What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about Android Q, which is going to be the successor to Android Pie, which is out right now. And Android Q officially should be out by the end of this year. And then on other phones such as Samsung and LG and other phones, probably months later, maybe even into 2020. Well, anyway, the beta was released the other day and we have some indication of what to expect when this comes out, such as better privacy controls on there. So if you want more controls in terms of, you know, going in depth, with what you're allowing other apps to see and things like that. You're gonna have more controls. Also, foldable phone support, so you can expect the Samsung Galaxy Fold to have Android Q at one point in time, because again, that's a foldable phone. And then you also have uh, the new Huawei foldable phone. That'll have Android Q at one point in time as well, because it's gonna have support for it. And then the last thing, which I think is really cool, but there's apps that can already do this, but if it's built right in, even better. You're looking at Android Q, uh, eventually having built-in screen recording. So when you want to record your screen, Apple already has this built in. Um, you're going to be able to record your screen. I love this. Again, I've used apps in the past that do this, but to have it built right into the operating system without having to have another app for it, awesome job, Google. If you have your new Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and you have the new you know, fingerprint sensor, and you're like, damn, I wish that thing worked better, well, there's an update coming out for it, and there'll be continual updates coming out for it. I am not that impressed with it, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's a little bit laggy when it does unlock. Sometimes it's great. It's, a lot of the time it's not. Sometimes it doesn't even work. It's too inconsistent. It definitely needs some fine tuning to go along with it. I know some of you guys are like, oh, it's the best. It's awesome. I don't feel that way, and I know others that feel exactly the way I do with it. Um, so again, there are updates coming out and that's officially coming from Samsung saying that there will be more updates and more improvements over with the in display fingerprint sensor on this phone. And it's definitely needed. Like I said, it's uh, I've had lagginess issues. I've had slow you know, unlocking times. It doesn't work a lot of the time. And again, other times it'll work perfectly fine. So it's kind of inconsistent and I would love to see them improve it because it is a really cool feature, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel ready. And the last story of the day is Samsung is officially mass producing the 12 gigabytes of RAM for phones. So this is gonna be a, a major thing. Obviously they already have it on the Galaxy S10 Plus version, like the mega version, the one I have, has 12 gigabytes of RAM, but they're now mass producing it. I mean, they're gonna be able to put this on basically anybody that wants 12 gigabytes of RAM and wants to get it through Samsung. And the reason I bring this one up, it's not a huge deal, because obviously, like I said, it's already on the Galaxy S10 Plus. What I see from this though is Galaxy Note 10. Galaxy Note 10, without a doubt, will have 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's a, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, the Galaxy Fold's gonna have it as well, 12 gigabytes of RAM. So the Galaxy Note 10 has to have it as well, especially with them mass producing it at this point. So what I expect from the Galaxy Note 10 is I expect two versions. I expect an eight gigabyte of RAM one with probably 128 gigabytes of storage. And I also expect a 12 gigabyte RAM version with probably one terabyte of storage. Maybe they'll go 512 and one terabyte, but I really expect it to be the maxed out version of this mass producing this stuff. It's gonna be easy to put it in to the Galaxy Note 10. So at that point, that's gonna lead up to my question of the day. Galaxy Note 10 comes out, guys. Which version are you buying? The one with eight gigabytes of RAM or the one with 12 gigabytes of RAM? I'll be honest with you, when I compare the uh, one with 12 gigabytes of RAM versus my Note 9, which has a slower processor, but eight gigabytes of RAM. And also with my S10e, which has six gigabytes of RAM, but the same processor as the Galaxy S10 Plus. The S10 Plus is just way smoother in every category of moving around the phone, opening up apps. And uh, I think I, I personally would definitely go with 12 gigabytes of RAM on this phone without a doubt. It's a, it's, again, it's a, it's a no brainer to know, to definitely go with the 12 gigabytes of RAM, especially if you want the best, ultimate, smooth, buttery experience of that phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day, and I will see you down the road. Peace.